Hi, welcome to Faith Builders today. And we're still looking at faithful Abraham, as it were. And I'm with the subject today, stagger not, stagger not. And the reality of faith in our hearts, folks, is that we are strong in Jesus and we have faith in Jesus Christ, the Messiah. And so faith resides in you. Faith does reside in you. And sometimes we, we, we lose the focus that we have faith in our hearts. It's a gift from God. In fact, you received salvation when you received Jesus Christ. It was by faith and by faith alone and by his grace. Hallelujah. And so it's a gift from God, folks. So if you're a believer who's watching this, you have a deposit of the measure of faith in your heart. It's by grace. It was given to you. And it doesn't depart after the moment of salvation, folks. It resides in you. Faith in Jesus. Hallelujah. And faith in Jesus has produced the result in you. It has produced the result in me of salvation. It has produced the result of the Holy Spirit residing in us. It has produced the result of a changed behavior. Faith in Jesus Christ has produced so much. Hallelujah. But the list would be endless. But the reality is faith has worked, hasn't it? It's faith has worked. If you believe on Christ, it has worked. It has happened. It has been manifested. You have been born again. What Jesus spoke of 2,000 years ago, when you believe by faith on Jesus Christ, it produced the result, folks. Faith produces results. It always produces results. And in the Galatian church, when, when people was coming in and trying to persuade the Galatian church to move from faith, oh, the miracles stopped, folks. The miracles stopped. And, and, and it was through faith in Jesus, hallelujah, that the miracles had started and begun. But then when they turned to other traditions and other ways and self effort folks the miracle stopped and the Galatian church was talked to very strongly by Paul saying who has bewitched you and I want to encourage you church that this walk in Jesus Christ is a walk of faith in Jesus Christ it starts by faith in Christ it ends with faith in Christ we continue in faith in Christ but what does that mean in reality it means Christ is in every situation every circumstance that you face he is with you he isn't just with you in church so you have faith there or an expression or you put your good face on and your good smile and you act all bold in faith but when you go home to the the husband or you go home to the wife or your kids or a situation or the work situation, or the financial situation, or the health situation, and you're in turmoil, Jesus Christ is present in you, in you all, folks. And we are to live not by sight, by faith. Hallelujah. So today on Faith Builders, I want to read another verse of Scripture to you. And it's verse Romans 4, verse 20, following on from last time. It says this concerning Abraham. It says, he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith giving glory unto the Lord. Hallelujah. And so today's faith builder is stagger not. Last time we said consider not, but today we're looking at stagger not. Hallelujah. And stagger, oh my word, to me it gives a picture of stumbling, you know, where you're staggering and, and stumbling. Hallelujah. But the reality is that for, for Abraham, you know, sometimes I ask the question and I ask the question of the Lord once because when you read in Genesis, because this is in Romans, when you read in Genesis of the life of Abraham, even though he had the promise, he, in my mind, he seemed to stagger a lot. 
He, you know, he lied to the Pharaoh. He went into the servant girl to, to get her pregnant at, at his wife's request. And so to me, doesn't that sound like a lot of staggering when God had promised that Abraham would have a child and now he would have a child through Sarah? Do, doesn't it seem, through, as you read his life before he had his child, how he, how he tried to do things his own way and he seemed to stagger? But the reality is, folks, the Bible's very clear that Abraham staggered not at the promise of God. And Abraham didn't. Abraham believed totally that he would have a child that he would he would have a seed and through his seed the messiah would come and bless all the nations of the earth he totally believed it and isn't that true of us sometimes where we're in a situation we know what god's word says in a situation of our life whether it's finances whether it's health whether it's our family situation, whether it's our job situation, um, and we know what the Word says, and we say, yes, I believe what the Word says. But in, when we in the situation, uh, the turmoil of our emotions, our minds are going all over the place. We have the pictures in our mind of the worst things possible and the worst possible outcomes, and we get very worried and very afraid. And it seems like we're staggering at the promise of God. But sometimes there's two aspects to this, folks. Abraham staggered not at the promise of God. And that word stagger means he didn't hesitate. He didn't doubt. He had no variance. What does variance mean? He wasn't basically double-minded or double-hearted. He knew what God said. He believed what God said. But when he come to the practice of the outcome, the practice of application, he tried to do it his way. That is not a person who doesn't believe that God was giving him, giving him a child. That's somebody who did so much believe that God was going to give him a child that he tried to do it his own way. He tried to bring it to pass his own method, his own way. And just like last time I said, consider not your body. Now I'm telling you folks, stagger not. Meaning, don't try and do it your own way. In your heart, you believe. In your heart, you have no doubt. In your heart, you have no variance. You've got the faith of God in you. But in practice, in application, when we're in circumstances of life, a lot of the time, because we believe, we then try and make it be done through our own methods, our own ways, our own wisdom, our own circumstance, and our own effort. And I want to encourage you on Faith Builders today. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't stagger at the promise of God now. Keep in faith. Keep releasing your faith, not only through your mouth, but through your actions according to God's truth, according to God's word, according to God's wisdom, not according to our own minds, our own thinking, our own desires, our own ways, that we try to do it through self-effort. This ain't about self-effort, folks. This is about what God has promised to you. And when you act in faith, it happens, it manifests, it will happen. It will bring a result, folks, not through the works because Abraham tried to do it in his own way. He went into the servant girl and he got her pregnant and he had Ishmael. And that caused problems for Israel even to this day. So don't try it your own way. Listen to what God has said to you. Listen to the wisdom that God gives to you. Because the wisdom is the way. The wisdom of God. The truth of God. His word gives you the wisdom so you can apply faith and bring forth good fruit with the promises fulfilled in your life and in every area and circumstance of your life. So not only are you to be a person that considers not, you're to be a person that staggers not. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And that's so important because that caused him to give glory to God, didn't it? It says in the verses, he was persuaded, he gave glory to God. And true faith, folks, when true faith is exercised, it will bring forth a result. It will bring a result in your family. It will bring a result in your children. It will bring a result in your husband or your wife or your body in health issues. It will bring a result. Faith will accomplish. Faith will have an accomplishment, a manifestation. And guess what happens then? Hallelujah. 
you bring glory to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Every single time. Because instead of doing it your way, you didn't stagger and you did it his way and brought a result from heaven so you can praise him and give him all the glory. Thanks for listening. Until next time on Faith Builders, God bless.